This is the point where I knew things were not going to end well. I ordered my drone, the Mavic Pro DJI, over a month ago. When it arrived, I was so excited I wanted to fly it immediately. I'm not sure why this is so blurry. I really had no idea what I was doing, I guess, when I first started. I learned how to turn it around slowly to get those painting horizon shots. Still blurry. I must have not had autofocus enabled. After a quick flight, I thought it was time to come in for a landing. This is where I tried to do a return to home function. This is where it'll actually come in and land where it started from. However, when it came in, it was actually hovering over the fence still. And as it started to go down, it detected the fence and just shot right up. Now I assumed that it would stop and detect the tree and just stay there. I was wrong. But what happened was it actually spun around, hit the tree, hit the ground, and after it hit the ground, it noticed again that it was too close to the ground, so it shot back up into the tree. Into the fence it went. The arms bent back, a propeller dead, the tree with a significant bruising. So since the crash with my Mavic drone here, I've been pretty careful. <laughs> this isn't really a toy. Um, it's expensive for one, and it's a professional video recording equipment. This is professional equipment right here. And it's also incredibly dangerous. In fact, if you look at the map of San Diego where I live, the majority of the city is actually off limits because anywhere within five miles of an airport is restricted airspace. Now you could, in theory, get permission from the tower to actually fly in that space. But in order to do that, you'd probably have to get your airman certification first, request something from the FAA, and then they would have to be okay with it. At a major airport like the one downtown no chance they're not gonna let you fly your drone and you know hold people up in the air in big flights for it it's stupid it's not gonna happen so I have been able to find some spots though and I went to the beach recently there's a little bit of shakiness in the video and I'm not quite sure what that's from but anyways I just wanted to share this fun time with you or traumatic time everything's okay the propeller is actually what got jacked up I don't know if you can make that out but there's essentially the propeller, when it hit the tree, it got all, all messed up. So yeah, it's okay though. And so it survived the crash. Maybe we can call it a durability test. Uh, and that pause button I was talking about is the one right there on the controller. If you can see that or not, but it's important to know what you're doing and how to use these. So something that helped me a lot here was the videos by Timothy Sunday, who is doing a great job actually explaining every feature about the Mavic. So I'll put some links at the end of this video to his videos. So you can go check those out if you are a Mavic owner and want to do it. But look for awesome footage upcoming in some of my videos from the sky using my Mavic Pro. All right, thanks for joining me. If you're new to the Data Geek family, please join us. Go ahead and hit subscribe down below. If you're already a member of the family, please like and share this with everyone you know. And if you have any questions or anything or want to give me feedback about this video or any of the other ones, go ahead and do so. Just leave a comment down below. You Don't worry, you won't hurt my feelings.